So there are my sites. My sites are now in my dashboard. That's so exciting. Andrea here, Kinsta employee and tries her best but could do better travel blogger. In this video, I'm migrating my site to Kinsta, which truly is the crux of this whole series. I have been putting this off for a while, not because I'm afraid of migrations per se, but honestly because I can't remember how I configured my email address. But that's okay, because I know that Kinsta's website has an answer to pretty much any question I could have about websites. Still, I know a lot of website owners have major concerns about website migrations. So before I get started, I decided to reach out to Roger, a website migration specialist at Kinsta. Hey Roger, thanks for tuning in with me. So first off, uh, how, do, how do migrations work? How do, how do you move one website from one host to another? It's a great question. And um, it's pretty simple. It's, we basically were copying all of the WordPress files, and then we're copying the database, and we're bringing them over to the Kinsta server and setting it all up here. Uh, so it's an exact uh, identical copy of your site at that time. Uh, and then now it's working at Kinsta. And um, I mean, in a nutshell, that's how simple it is. Awesome. So why would someone entrust their site to a specialist versus trying to do it themselves or doing it through a plugin? Sure. Well, I mean, first of all, as a part of the migrations department, all I do all day long is migrate websites from a variety of web hosts. And so it's pretty second nature uh, at this point. Like, you know, if I've seen a lot of different website configurations, I've worked with pretty much every single host that's out there. Just off the basic fact that you don't do a lot of migrations, it's, it, it can be best to just have somebody else handle that part for you. So when someone is you know, looking to migrate their site, what can they do to prepare their site for migration? Do they have to do backups before? Do they need to export anything? No, absolutely not. Um, there's no need to do any type of backup or exporting. Um, there's a few things to keep in mind when you're preparing to migrate your website. And a lot of this depends on what type of website it is. So if it's, if it's a blog or just an informational kind of a brochure website, uh, you just need to keep in mind that any updates that you make to the website during the migration process can be lost. So if you submit a migration request to Kinsta, myself or one of my colleagues, We'll take a look at your request. Um, and when we're ready to migrate it, we will reply to you and let you know, hey, we're starting the migration. Please don't make any changes to your website. After the site has been moved over, we run it through a number of tests and examinations to make sure everything's working correctly on our system. Uh, we do have a, a list of some plugins that don't work here and, and we send you information about uh, all of that. Uh, we then send you information about how to test the website before you change the DNS over to Kinsta, um, just to make sure everything's working smoothly. Before we send that to you, though, we have personally made sure that the site is working, loading correctly, and uh, has no issues. Great. Well, this sounds exciting, and I can't wait to get my website over to Kinsta. We're looking forward to bring it over. So I put in my migration request yesterday and late in the day I received an email confirmation that my site had been migrated. And once I got the notification, I was able to access my sites in the MyKinsta dashboard. Now I have to check whether everything looks good on my end. So I have to follow these instructions that I received in the original email. I'm going to select option one for beginners and use a website called Skip DNS to preview my site. Nice, okay. Everything looks like it's even my pop-up. My Instagram is up to date, even with the latest photo I just posted today. So now that this is done, I am ready to point my DNS to uh, Kinsta because my website looks good and now it's the next step. 
I'm using this one knowledge base article that includes how to update my DNS settings as well as my email settings, which is one of the steps I was actually a little nervous about. But luckily the steps are super clear in this help article and I'm just going step by step and copy pasting the information into the MyKinsta dashboard. So now let's see if I move the needle at all on my website performance. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna compare the third test for each of the tools to the third test that I completed after migration. At first glance, the improvements seem marginal, but keep in mind, I have yet to do any sort of speed optimization on my website or even turn on the Kinsta CDN. Stay tuned for the next video where I actually get one of my colleagues to walk me through one of my speed reports and identify exactly what's slowing down my website and what quick fixes I can implement to really make a difference. Thanks for watching.